The Bridgewater College women's soccer team is continuing their 25th anniversary celebration by revealing mean midfielders in their 25th anniversary team. That includes Kat Hoffey, Megan Groose, Michelle Villegas, and Hannah Randolph. Oh, what can I say about Hannah Randolph? Um, she's the gold standard, right? She uh, played here five years. Um, instantly became the face of the program her freshman year by being Rookie of the Year. She was uh, the first player in ODAC history to be uh, five-time first team all ODAC. Uh, she has been first team through, first team, second team, third team, all region. Um, she was two-time player of the year. What a great player. Very humble, super technical, athletic. Um, when we needed a big goal, she scored it. Um, I think her debut goal um, at the time didn't know it, but kind of set the standard in what was what was going to come over the next five years. We go play Rowan at Rowan, her first collegiate game. We're tied 0-0 with 15 minutes to go. She picks the ball up at midfield and then beats two players and then finishes upper 90 far post with her left foot. Um, and I think at that moment, we knew we had something special. So, uh, yeah, I can't say enough about Hannah. Uh, Kat Hoffey, uh, again, another great player for us. Um, she came in uh, freshman year, took a little while to get into the starting lineup. We were bouncing her between uh, center mid, outside back a little bit, um, but she settled in as, as attacking center mid. Um, we, you know, we've got a run that we named off uh, for her in the midfield where she'd run in behind the center back quite a bit, uh, so we call it the cat run. Um, but again, great mentality, um, did whatever she needed to do. Uh, for the team. We ended up moving her to Ford, I think, one year because we were struggling to score goals. Um, and she made that transition uh, fairly easy for us. Um, but again, Pacey had some technical ability and then, you know, by her junior, senior year, started scoring some big goals for us uh, to help us secure some big wins for us. Uh, Michelle was a, was another great midfielder for us. Um, we've had some, some good ones over the time, but I think the biggest thing for Michelle was she, she could hold on to the ball when she was in trouble. She could hang on to it. She had a big leg, so for us to be able to switch the ball, she could be uh, close to one sideline and flip the, the field for us with a big switch. Uh, so I think that was probably her biggest attribute for us. Um, and then she, she also scored some big goals for us outside the box because of that leg. So um, yeah, she, she was a good player in her four years with us. Bruce was, uh, she came in um, my first year, so we came in together. Um, not many people knew much about her. Um, she was a late uh, commit that I was able to add once I got hired. Um, so didn't have high expectations for her because didn't really know much about her. I, I saw her once and was like, this girl can play. Um, and then when she showed up uh, her freshman year in preseason, we knew we had something um, just with her athleticism Again, her work ethic, um, and then she was really the first player that we brought in that really started to to get the ball rolling. She was our first all-region uh, player for the program, um, all-conference again. Um, she's one of the few players that I think that can still come in. If you take her ability back at the beginning and put her in today's program, I still think she plays and contributes at a high level for us. The program will continue its celebration by revealing the final group, that being the forwards, tomorrow afternoon. And they play this weekend as they host number 24, Washington and Lee at the Bridgewater Soccer Complex. Action is set to start at 1 p.m.